In the bottom of the field here, we have a classical normal thymus gland. We can see it's entirely lymphocytic looking. We can see that the uh, lobules are separated by these thin bands of connective tissue. And we could see in most areas that you have the darker lymphocytes on the outside because they generally have less cytoplasm relative to the nucleus. And in the uh, medulla, rather than the darker cortex, we have a lighter looking uh, lymphocytes and uh, lymphoepithelial cells. Notice as well, there's one feature on here that is absolutely positively diagnostic uh, for any thymus and are these, it's a, these Hassel's corpuscles, which you see in the medulla here and here. There's no doubt this is a thymus. But what do we have up here? We have lymphoid tissue. You don't see differentiation between uh, cortex and medulla. You don't see anything that looks like Hassel's corpuscles. But instead, you see these sheets of lymphoid cells separated by fibrous nodules. And quite frankly, I don't think that there is any way you could tell this was a thymus originally unless you're lucky enough to have gone through it and see some normal areas with the uh, Hassel's corpuscles. This is a thymoma. A thymoma can be thought of as being a lymphoma of the thymus because the thymus is a lymphoid organ. Notice, like uh, any of the other regular lymphomas, they have these uh, fairly well differentiated uh, lymphocytic looking cells arranged in sheets. And um, let's look at it by itself. Here's a bigger view. You can see, once again, these lymphoid areas separated by nodules. Let's look at what the gross specimen might have looked like. Here are the fibrous bands, and these browner, softer areas are the lymphoid nodules. I don't know if this represents a severely anthracotic lymph node next to it, or if perhaps this was an area that was India inked. It is so black, I suspect this is an India inking artifact. Let's also look at the x-ray on this picture, because you know the thymus is one of the uh, few uh, organs of the superior mediastinum lining above the arch of the aorta underneath the uh, um, sternum. But this one is so big it looks like it's taking up uh, quite a bit more space than just that superior mediastinum. Here was the actual specimen and here's what the x-ray might have looked like. Let's go back to the histology again and I don't want to make this any more complicated than it has to be. As long as you are sure that this organ here is thymus even though you can't see any diagnostic features of thymus and it looks like uh, it is involved diffusely with foma, perhaps with a variable amount of fibrous tissue. You can call this a thymoma. Thymomas are very, very closely linked to an autoimmune disease called myasthenia gravis. And even in patients that <clears throat> do have myasthenia that don't have thymomas, sometimes thymectomies uh, help these patients. So to make a long story short, think of a thymoma a lymphoma of the thymus. Do I really want to show anything more than that? You want to look at a couple of these lymphoid cells? Anywhere else in the body you call this a uh, lymphoma without even batting your eyelashes. So I think we'll end it here because the computer has given me problems again.